Hi, good morning everyone. Your social media reporter Lauren Petrelli here. We're working on some breaking news right now. Uh, there's a fire on Florida Avenue in Stony Creek Township. I'm walking over to this hill here because you can almost see the flames and the, and the smoke. Let me just turn this around so you guys can get a view of what I'm looking at. Let me zoom in. If you see that smoke right there, that's where the fire is located. It's probably really hard to hear, but I can hear the sirens of the ambulance or the fire trucks on their way there. Uh, the details are really limited right now. What you're looking at, if you're just tuning in right now, I see about 60 more people just tuned in. So there's a fire on Florida Avenue. Like I said, de details are really limited. We have a crew on our way over there. Um, we heard this over dispatch and I walked outside because this is the view from right outside of the newsroom. Um, I don't, I'm going to be quiet for a second and see if you guys can hear the ambulance or the fire truck. I don't really hear them too much right now, so I'm guessing they're on the scene right now. To turn this around real, real quick. So if you're just tuning in, this is taking place on Florida Avenue in the Stony Creek Township. Michael says, I hope everyone's okay. I, I couldn't agree more. I'm going to walk a little bit down this hill and hopefully you guys can get a better view. I can hear those sirens again too. So it looks like there's probably more people responding to the area. We have our Jillian Hartman uh, who is part of the Six New Sunrise team. She's on her way over there now. So we're going to be able to get you more details, hopefully, for the noon show. And you can stay tuned on our Facebook page where we'll be updating you on what's happened at the scene. So let me just turn this around real quick for you guys. A little bit closer to the scene. Let me see if I can zoom in. Um, Roger, you said what block? I believe it's Florida Avenue. I don't know the exact address. I just heard it over dispatch and that's when Tim Rigby said you can see this outside of the window and I thought, you know what, people need to know about this so let me go outside and, and Facebook live this. So I hope that answers your question. Libby says 1400 block of Fort Florida Avenue. So. You know, I don't have that confirmed, but Libby, are, can you tell us, do you live on that block or are you nearby? Um, I know Jillian Hartman is on her way and she's going to let us know more. But if anyone's around there, you could let us know. Uh, Megan, you said, does it look like a huge fire? I can't tell. Well, I mean, we can see it from this new station, so I'm guessing it's kind of large. It's that area right in the center if you can see the billow of smoke let me see Edward you said 1405 Florida Avenue so hopefully everyone is all right um, if you're tuning in right now we're taking a look at the smoke from a house fire I know it's hard to hear since it's so far away and through me talking but uh, you can hear the fire truck sirens as they respond to the area we were told it, it could be a house fire. I'm not sure. Something maybe we heard over the scanner. It could have started on the second floor, but we still don't have many details confirmed. Megan, you said there are six companies out right now. Lynette says prayers. So we don't know if anyone's been injured in this or if, um, if anyone was even home at all while the fire broke out. It kind of looks like the, the smoke billow is is dying down so I'm just gonna wrap and we can walk back to the newsroom together and find out if we have um any more information confirmed so I'm just gonna take you guys back and I'm trying to keep you as updated as possible um, if you're just tuning in I see there's about 160 people watching uh, we just wrapped up our six new sunrise show and we saw that there was a house fire that ran over dispatch uh, and that's when Tim pointed out over the window or at the windowsill that you could see the fire. You can even smell it and hear the sirens um, from the building. So I ran outside to get you guys a closer view. Jillian Hartman is on her way to the scene with the rest of the crew so we could get you guys more details. Um, I know I said it was on Florida Avenue and some people on here were commenting that it was on the 1400 block. 
I don't know if that's confirmed. I tried asking you guys if you were in the area. Libby, you said confirmed fully engulfed fire. So people who are on the scene are saying that it's a pretty large fire. Sorry if I sound like I'm out of breath. The walking in the cold. Huh. All right, so we're gonna go upstairs. Tim Rigby should be upstairs. He was continuing to listen to the scanners. So we're gonna see if he's heard from Jillian or if he's heard anything else from dispatch. So let's go on upstairs together real quick. Let me turn this around. Lacey says, the fire is right by our house, praying for our neighbors. Lacey, are, is everyone safe? Can you tell us if they're all outside safely? We would love to know. I'm sure our viewers would love to know. All right, so let's see. I guess Tim's not here. He must have gone home. I hear some of the, the scanners going off. Let's see if we can hear any more details on here. Mm -hmm. No, I guess the sirens, or I'm sorry, the scanners are a little bit quiet right now. So I see 191 people watching. Lacey, you said we're going to be going that way shortly. Hopefully I can update soon. Please, Lacey, let us know. Um, Jillian Hartman, she is also on the way to the scene to give us more information. You guys can stay up to date with us on Facebook and Twitter for more information and as well as tune into the new newscast where we'll have a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a little sick too. Um, we'll have a full update for you. Let's see, hold on, these are the scanners. I mean, if I can get you closer to the scanner, hold on. Um, it's like uh, the smoke is a little bit down. Like I said, you guys can see. Let's see if you can see more. It's a little hard to see over the sunrise. Um, but we were just listening to the scanners and we couldn't hear much more of an update. So, like before, you can stay tuned for the new newscast. We'll have a full update for you. Or you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter where I will be updating those constantly with more information. Uh, you guys, Lacey, you said hopefully I can update you soon. So bring in that information for us if you're nearby. And Megan, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I hope everyone is safe as well. So keep checking in with us for the latest. And everyone have a happy and safe Labor Day weekend. We'll see you soon.